Well guys, welcome back to the channel, Paladin Piper. We are diving into the plethora of samples from Double O Pipe. I'm going to put his link in the description. Check him out. Great storyteller. Firefox. Up first. Uh, I am enjoying it in a Dr. Grabo Riviera pot. This is a uh, pipe that has not found its bride tobacco. So therefore, I just throw burlies in it because pot, pot, pot pipes, pot shaped pipes uh, smoke burlies really well. Off the bat, you get some nice um, Virginia notes, a little bit of grass, kind of that bready note, and then um, some nice deep walnut character. Almost, yeah. It's untopped. A little bit of earth there. That, that dark walnut again. Edges are pretty smooth. Tiny amount of floral actually on that little puff. A little bit of bitterness, kind of like a black coffee kind of bitterness. And again, some nuttiness. Uh, no, really no harshness, very well-rounded uh, Virginia Burley. So I will take this down and come back to you with final thoughts on Briar Fox by C&D. One of their best sellers, they say. So we're beginning the final third of Cornell and Deal's Briar Fox. Uh, cut. I didn't tell you the cut. Kind of a rough, rough cut. Uh, let's see if I can do this. There's kind of some chunks there. A little bit of ribbon. Kind of just a, a rough, chunky ribbon cut. Excuse me. So, get a little bit of tang. A uh, nice, nutty, kind of dark walnut character. A little bit of earth. Turn down my heater. Um, this is a plain Jane. No frills, Burley, Virginia, uh, blend. I can't detect hardly any casing or topping at all. Um, I know everything is cased a little bit with something, typically a sh little sugar water. Um, but this is very, very earthy, um, rich. I wouldn't say rich, rich, but, you know, no frills. Um, dark walnut, earthy burly, and the, and the kind of a bready Virginia, a little bit of tang here and there. Um, oh, and my love of burleys and Virginia burleys, where does it fall? This for me is more well-rounded than Peter, I don't know, Peter Stokeby, Eric Stokeby's 1931. But less sweet because there's no topping. There's a honey topping on that one. Um, it is in line, lockstep, I would say, with Pegasus. A tad smoother than Big and Burly. Uh, and of course, no, 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 no Latakia in this. There's Latakia in Big and Burly. Um, yeah, this is a very familiar, classic profile. And I can see why a lot of people like it. Um, as far as Cornell and Deal Burleys, it is probably one of my favorite Burleys that they, that they have. Burley Virginia's uh, that, they, that they make. Um, 
when I was first starting to puff on it, right before I hit start, I thought I was going to get a little of that throat hit. And every time that I thought I was going to get that throat hit, it never came. Um, so it tells me there's just a slight rough edge to it, but not, not bad. Um, this is definitely more rounded. Now, I don't know... Rick, if you watch this, you can tell me how old this was. I don't think you wrote, you didn't write it on the. You didn't write it on the uh, bag. That I can see. Yeah, so I don't know how old this is. Um, it's a little dry in the bag, but not bad. Um, so maybe if it's aged, it's a little rounder. I don't know. I've never had it fresh out of the tin. So, but. Um, I'm going to give it a B. I like this profile. My problem with this profile is it's done so much. So you've got a lot of options in this profile from a lot of different vendors, a lot of different blenders, uh, a lot of different price points. Um, so would I buy this again? Probably not. Um, oh, I didn't buy it. He sent it to me, but would I buy it? No. Um, but if you've never had a straight Virginia Burley, I think it's worth I think it's worth picking up. Um, so, okay, strength is medium to me. Um, I am not I'm not well, mild to medium. I'm not really feeling a whole lot. I feel a teeny amount, but not bad. So, um, yeah, not bad in that that department. So it's it's just kind of a nice Virginia Burley. Um, but again, I think there's a lot of options out there that would be just as good, if not better. So, um, and it's a very familiar profile. Uh, if you've had straight Virginia Burleys, you've kind of had one, you kind of had them all with just little tweaks. Um, I think there's a little bit of less dark Burley in this probably, which is, I like, I like a little more white Burley. Um, but all right, guys, that does it for C and D's Briar Fox. Stay tuned. We are going to have a lot of revisits, uh, good, um, Christmas stuff coming up and yeah, we're going to kick off the, the end of the year pretty pretty good. So, all right, guys, until then, take care. We'll see you soon.